my check one two one two it's the y2k collector and today i went to one of the designated retro game stops in my area i wanted to see what they had i wanted to see what their display area looked like that's what i'm really most interested in i'm interested in seeing what differentiates these stores um is there more of a retro presence do they do something in the store to demonstrate that they're more of a retro store? Or is it just a place where other surrounding stores send some of their retro stuff to? Um, I'm also interested to see if there's been any investments made on GameStop's part to train their employees to be able to uh, identify certain things, inspect certain things, because you know, if you're going to start taking in retro games, there needs to be a certain level of knowledge ab about them. I am in no ways a, a retro game expert or a video game expert. I just know enough to make sound purchases or purchases, purchases that feel sound to me. Um, and so when I went there, they didn't have a ton of things, but they had a few and I'll go over them with you. Um, I was moving quick, so I didn't get a chance to inspect everything. So I'm actually looking at a lot of this stuff for the first time now. But one of the first items that I picked up was this Sony uh, PlayStation 1 controller. Now, when I looked online, these were being listed at $9.99. Um, and he initially told me that was the price. But when he rang me up, uh, this controller rang up at $14.99. And I was confused as to why. And according to him, it's because this is a refurbished model so let's open it up i'm gonna open it up and see if this is actually a refurb and straight out the gate i don't know if you guys can see this but this looks nothing like a refurbished playstation 2 playstation 1 controller in fact this is actually pretty gross i may need to wash my hands after touching this controller look at all the just the gunk um in the seams of the controller um it's actually pretty filthy it's kind of gross i mean even if you look in in the screws there i mean there's just gunk and filth in there everywhere how in the world was this refurbished what did they do to refurbish this there's like f what looks like food stains and it looks like you could definitely see so like right there you could see someone was eating some cheetos and they put their thumb right there and there goes the print the thumbprint from 1998 it's still there they didn't even clean this thing um this is pretty depressing and this is my biggest concern with this retro program that gamestop is trying to embark on um if you're gonna take in items like this the folks have to really do their due diligence in inspecting these items and and then if you're going to call them refurbished you definitely have to make sure that the item reflects the condition that you're labeling it as so this is probably going to be a return um haven't tested it out yet but this is very disheartening um not a good way to get things started off but yep there goes the first item a playstation one controller all right so we're going to keep it moving um got another piece of hardware that we picked up from gamestop um this is a uh an oem nintendo gamecube controller now this one looks uh on this uh, on the outside this one looks a little bit better let's go ahead and get it out the plastic and see what we're dealing with here all right so straight out the plastic um this too looks like it has some blemishes. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. He did not say that this one was a refurb. Um, this definitely could use a cleaning as well. Not sure what the heck is on that. That looks pretty gross. Um, man, these controllers just look gross, dude. Jeez Louise, GameStop, find, get a towel, wipe this stuff down. It looks like it looks like they're not even attempting to wipe these things down. They're just throwing them in a bag and selling them. I'm surprised they put this thing on there. Um, these little rubber doohickeys are meant to keep the um, uh, controllers or I guess the analog uh, joysticks in, in uh, place. I mean, let's see. So let's do a little shake test. Shake, 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 shake. So the analog feels pretty tight i'm not gonna lie this feels very tight i'd be excited to play some smash bros using this controller because it feels the, the joystick feels real tight um the d-pad feels tight 
the C stick also feels pretty tight. B, A, X, and Y start all feel tight. The controllers feel, the uh, rather the triggers feel pretty tight. So yeah, I mean, for the most part, I mean, functionally, it feels good. It feels tactile. I'm gonna have to plug this one up and make sure that it actually works. It does look somewhat dirty, so I am gonna have to wipe it down, but I do love the fact that this is a genuine Nintendo controller, a genuine GameCube controller. It's not aftermarket. I see some of these go uh, on eBay for like 40 bucks. Um, I figured $24.99 was a pretty decent deal. And uh, my first GameCube ever was actually a black GameCube. So this one was a little nostalgic pickup for me. So I guess uh, so far GameStop has somewhat made up with this controller, um, but I still haven't tested this one out to know if it works. So, so I got a little Gen 5 and a little Gen 6 controller action here. Okay, let's see what else we got. So here at this one, they had Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Um, I think they're 4 for 40 still going on. So um, was able to take advantage of that. Um, so pick this one up on the on the 3DS. I've been I've been adding games to my 3DS collection. I'm not, I can't open this with one hand. This one feels really tight. Let me see if it will. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been adding to my 3DS collection um, a little bit more over this summer. Just a few little games here and there that I've been wanting to add. Not trying to complete it at all, but if I run into a, a decent condition 3DS um, game, I might snag it. I actually just picked this up for the 360. So I'm not sure if I'll keep this or not. I may actually, this may actually be a, a, a go back along with that controller, we'll see. But they had Sonic Generations there. Um, and then this is a game that I sold and I'm glad I got it back because when I sold off a lot of my Wii U stuff, I was a little bit sad that I sold this one, but Mighty Number no. 9 is a very cheap game. But this is kind of like, uh, like a Mega Man, I think Mega Man 7, Mega Man 8 is the vibes that I get from this one. Um, pretty cool game, right? Um, pretty cool like run and, run and gun type shooter game. Um, this one, I'm surprised for the type of game this is, like I'm surprised this doesn't get more love, but I guess because it's like a Mega Man knockoff, this is like a true Mega Man knockoff. Like that's supposed to be Mega Man and I guess that's supposed to be Roll. Um, pretty rough stuff. But um, this is one that I got back in, in for the Wii. Um, I think they also have this on the 3DS as well. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments. But I know this came out on a few systems. Pretty decent game. Um, but I added that one back to the Wii U collection. And then last but not least, they had a very good copy of uh, Hyrule Warriors um, for the Wii U. So I actually had this on the... Uh, what did I have this on? I had this on the Switch. And I wound up selling my switch version i had the hyrule warriors definitive edition not sure what extras were added in that for those of you who know you can let me know down in the comments but um but yeah decided to pick this up for the wii u there were some pretty good games on the wii u that i had on the switch but i sold and um you know add getting them back on the wii u nothing wrong with that i know the switch is probably the superior way to play these games but finding them at nine bucks ten bucks five bucks six bucks um, pretty sweet ads, especially when they're in good condition. So that was my first trip to my local um, uh, GameStop. I'd have to say the highlight of the day was definitely the GameCube controller. Anytime you can find OEM GameCube controllers in my area is great because where I'm at, I don't tend to find those. Let me know if you stopped by your local GameStop and if you found anything good. I'm interested to know. It's the Y2K Collector. The weekend is coming and I'll definitely have some more videos for you. Stay tuned and take it easy.